Hello and welcome to the Lacey Family Farm. Have you ever bought a trailer and had to put a pallet in it but couldn't figure out how to do it? Well today we're going to show you how to cut it and re-weld it to allow you to do that. Renderforest.com all right, so a while back we bought a trailer so we could transport stuff back and forth, but it was meant for off-road vehicles so the tailgate lifts down and doesn't allow pallets to get really in there too easily. So what we're going to do is we're going to basically take out the side of that in this little box here so that way we can load pallets in and out fairly easily. To do that, all we're going to do is cut three spots right there and then pull that side piece out and then re-weld it later. To do that, the side piece here is a piece of angle iron just right there. We're going to cut it, re-weld a smaller piece of angle iron inside of it so that way when it sits down inside of it, it's nice and snug. After that's all done, we're going to go ahead and drill holes in the side of the angle iron and we're going to weld a nut inside of it so that way we can take a screw to the outside to keep everything tight. So here's the trailer we're going to be cutting. As you can see here, there's two posts. The angle iron that's just been welded onto the side frame, as well as angle iron that's on the top row. We're going to make our first cut right there, and then we're going to cut that off of the frame, so that way we can clean it up and slide our angle iron in behind it. So let's go over some of the tools you're going to need. You're going to need basically a cutting wheel with a cutting blade attached to it. You're going to need a drill with the wire mesh on it so you can clean up some of the welds and the bare metal to get it prepped to weld. You're going to want a good pair of gloves. These aren't for welding, but these are just for handling all the uh, metal and everything else like that while you're cutting and cleaning. You're also going to want a good pair of welding gloves that'll cover back to your wrist just so when you're welding you don't get any of that hot metal on your wrist. You're going to want a nice helmet for welding that automatically adjusts, preferably when you start welding so it doesn't blind you, as well as a uh, welding machine. Now I got this one for fairly cheap. It's not meant to do a ton, but it's uh, fairly inexpensive and it'll work for us. We get these little pieces right here. We're gonna have to cut those off of the main frame and then we'll replace it. All right, now that we got the metal pieces off, we use a grinding wheel to grind down the big chunks and we use a sanding wheel to sand down the small stuff. All right, now let's take our old piece. We're gonna lay it up against the side we're going to mark where we need to put the bigger brackets and then we'll spot weld those and put them in place. Now our pieces are prepped so we just got to clamp them on and start welding. But I basically held it up and I tacked one small side, one small piece on the one side, one small on the other. Then once that's up, I can take the clamp off or my hand off, whatever I was using, and then go down the side. Obviously, it looks like junk. I, I understand that, but I'm still learning how to weld, and so I'm, that's actually better than a lot of before ones. We're gonna take our new piece of angle iron. We're gonna cut it so it'll fit right down in those slots, and then after that, we'll attach it. By welding it to the bottom of this with the goal of it just being able to slide right in and sit on the side. So we got these finished all welded up. Once again they don't look uh, the best but they'll do. Uh, they're pretty good for my work uh, which is still learning. So what we'll do, we'll do a test fit to see how it uh, slides in and then if that all works we'll grind it down just to make it look a little bit better and we'll get ready to drill the holes to put in the bolts. Perfect. All right, so now we got it back in place. I got a drill bit that is just 
a touch larger than the bolts we're going to use, and I'm going to make my hole. So as you can see here, here's the finished product. The only thing left to do is to paint the joints so they're nice and protected. There's the front one, the back one, inside of the front one, and inside of the back one. And that's the finished product. Hope you guys enjoyed. Now it's time to deliver some bricks onto it for the first time. Perfect. Thanks guys for watching. If you like it a lot, go ahead and hit the subscribe button below and watch out for our next video coming up next week, a mini tip on how to weld.